Good morning to you. It's Tamika Chambers, lifestyle coach. And one of my clients um, told me yesterday, she said, Tamika, I don't want to just pass my exam. I want to be a great nurse. And that's what I want for every single person taking the NCLEX. All right, let's do another question today. Remember, you should have a piece of uh, paper, some paper and a pencil or writing utensil as you do these questions with the different people that are doing them. And not only are you reading the question, paraphrasing it, but you're also to um, selecting your answer with your rationale. Always have a rationale to see if your rationale, your thinking is in alignment with the question's rationale. Let's go for it. While monitoring a male client several hours after a motor vehicle accident, which assessment data suggests increasing intracranial pressure? So a male has had a motor vehicle accident. I'm looking at the statement that suggests increasing intracranial pressure. Is that answer going to be A, blood pressure has decreased from 160 to 90 to 110 over 70. Pulse is increased from 87 to 95 with an occasional skipped beats. Or C, the client is oriented when aroused from sleep and goes back to sleep immediately. Or D, the client refuses dinner because of anorexia. So go ahead and pause and select your answer. And when you're done, go ahead and resume. All right, so I need to know that this person has increased brain pressure. When we look at intracranial pressure, what would what would tell the difference? And when we think about increased brain pressure, I think about dizziness, drogginess, um, not able to focus, right? Often people choose A, but A, that's a good thing. Pressure has decreased. Their blood pressure is down to normal. B, pulse, not necessarily C, the client is oriented when aroused from sleep and goes back to sleep immediately. That supports my thinking of this person is going to be drowsy. They're going to be not oriented or, you know, wanting to fall back, you know, to sleep quickly. And so D, no, the client refuses dinner because of anorexia. And so that's my rationale is that I'm thinking that their level of consciousness is decreasing. And so this is definitely a nurse lab question. And remember, you can get content, free content and free questions off of nurselabs.com. And remember, you guys, this is more than just a test. This is your livelihood. This is you being that great nurse and understanding principles instead of just memorizing them. Remember, you can do this if anyone, other people have done it, you can do it too. It takes the right strategy, the right system, and the focus on understanding instead of just memorizing. You want to understand and apply. Talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourself.